Hey guys, Anthony here with an updated tutorial on how to remove an image background in PhotoDirector 365. In the new version of PhotoDirector 365, you'll see several options when you open the app. You can click on this background remove slash replace option, or you can click on this edit option, which is what I'm going to do. And it will open the PhotoDirector app in guided mode. So first we need to import an image. You can drag and drop it in this section here. I'll click this Add Photo button, which is what I'll do. Next, navigate to your folder, choose your image, and click Open. So here is the image that I'm going to use. Like I said earlier, I'm in the Guided section of Photo Director. Click on the Background Remove Slash Replace option and it will automatically remove the background image, which you'll see in a while. You can then click the export button at the top, give it a file name, and then click Save. Make sure that you choose the PNG option if you want the transparent background. Now let me show you another example. Now this time I'll go to File Explorer, and I'm using Windows 10. I'll drag and drop this image into Photo Director, like so. And as you can see, it has automatically removed the background image. I'll click on this magnifying glass icon in the top right corner. This will then allow me to zoom into the section of the image, like so. In this left side panel, you'll see two brushes the Restore brush, and the Erase brush. I'll click on the Erase brush to activate it, and then use it to remove this little section here, and this little section here. Next, I'll click back on the magnifying glass icon, and zoom out from the image like so. In this left side panel, you can check this box to reveal the background image, let me uncheck the box, and I'll click on the Apply button to apply the changes. In this section down below, you can change the background. Currently, it is set to the default No Background. You can go with a Blur Background. You can choose a Colored Background by using this Color box, like so. You can also go with an Image Background and use this Import button to import it from your local drive. Or you can also use one of the many background images that are already available in the image gallery of Photo Director, as you can see here. Let me show you one final example. So I'm in File Explorer again, and I'll choose this image, and then I'll drag and drop it into Photo Director. And as you can see, it has removed the background very easily. But that's pretty much it. Well, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching.